Hello, and welcome back to The Goodness Margin, the place where we find margin for the good things in life. Today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that has really been on my mind pretty heavy here lately. Most of the time, I share routines or habits with you that I have worked on and perfected over a period of time. For example, my evening routine is something I've done for several years in some form and the current evening routine I have I've done for well over a year and so when I share that with you I can say this works I've been doing this for a long time but today I want to talk with you about a topic that I don't have completely figured out that I am working through and I'm trying to figure it out and that topic is rest I have mentioned this several times on Instagram I've shared little snippets of this journey and every time I do, I get comments and I get direct messages from so many of you that are right here where I'm at, realizing that we have got to figure out how to be better at resting. Somehow in our society, it has become a buzzword of I'm so busy. And the reality is, is we're all really busy. We all have a lot going on. And I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that. I sort of thrive in a busy environment. I like to have a lot of things happening, but we can't burn the candle at both ends. We have to have rest. The word of God talks about rest. Jesus rested when during creation, God rested. And absolutely, it was not necessary. He was just giving us an example that we have to rest. And I think sometimes why it's a little bit taboo or we don't want to talk about it is because if I say to you, I've really been thinking about rest, I've been thinking a lot about taking a Sabbath, instantly I know that there will be thoughts of, wow, she must not be very busy. She doesn't have as much going on as I do. There's no way that I could ever do that. And I will be honest, there have been times where I've seen other people talk about their Sabbaths, or especially a sabbatical. We are not in a season of life right now where that we could take a sabbatical. I hope we can do that one day. And not that all of us think we were sinning by being envious, but we may think, goodness, I wish that was something that I could do. But I will tell you that setting aside time for rest is something that we could do. And it's definitely something that we should do. I sort of think of the example of my phone. I went to plug my phone in one Sunday morning. It was almost dead. And I plugged it in in the bathroom and I go about getting ready. And about an hour, hour and a half later, I'm about to leave and I grab it and it's dead. And I'm thinking, what in the world is wrong with my phone? Something must be broken. I have it plugged in, but then I realize it's not actually plugged into the power source. So it can't function. And we are really no different from those devices. I find that if I take my phone in the evenings and I plug it in, I plug it in my bathroom so it's not sitting by my nightstand and I leave it there all night. The next day, it completely functions all day long. And I'm on my phone a lot, making phone calls or doing work or social media, those types of things. I use my phone a lot during the day and it will last an entire day if I plug it in all night long, if I give it that extended period of time for rest. If I don't do that, I am looking for a phone charger all day long. I am constantly trying to find a time that, oh, I can plug my phone in for five minutes. I can plug it in for 10 minutes because it is on the verge of dying all day long. And I feel like we do that to ourselves. We are on the verge of burnout. We are on the verge of getting really sick because we are exhausted. I remember my first year of college, I got really sick several times. And I look back and realize I was just exhausted. I had gone from a pretty normal, regulated lifestyle. My mom cooked almost every meal at home. And so I ate healthy meals. I got decent sleep. And then I go to college and I am eating fast food. I'm eating cafeteria food. I am not getting good sleep, staying up way too late and then getting up and being exhausted and not taking a nap because I don't want to miss anything. And my body would occasionally say, okay, you've had enough. Going to crash a little bit. You're going to be forced to stay in bed for a week. You're going to miss your classes because I have to get some rest. And we're doing that to ourselves. I hear of so many people who go to the doctor and one of the first things they say with the diagnosis is you have this and it's caused by this, but you need to lower the stress in your life or you need more rest or you need more sleep. It really seems it doesn't matter what it is, stress and a lack of sleep, a lack of resting causes harm to our bodies. Now, again, this is something that I've recently been working on because I 
have learned the hard way that I can't just keep going nonstop. So here's something interesting. I had been, I felt like the Lord was dealing with me about rest, uh, about the Sabbath. Do you know how it is when you're reading the Bible and you may be reading the same plan as someone else, but this one particular thing just keeps sleeping out at you and the other person may not even notice that it's there. And it's because it's what God is dealing with you about. Well, that's the way it has been about rest. It seems like I just pick up the Bible and wherever I'm supposed to be reading, that is what I'm consistently reading about is taking some time, setting it apart, finding rest. And so I was at a special service. It was a seminar some friends were having and someone was talking about the Sabbath. And I came home and told my husband, okay, this was something that we used to be better at our lives have gotten really crazy busy and we are terrible at it right now. My husband and I both love to work. We are the type of people that absolutely could be workaholics. Thankfully, we have, we read a lot. We try to improve ourselves often and we try to guard ourselves against being workaholics. But even with that intentionality, we have definitely come to a point in our life where that we have been going way too hard, way too fast. And so I told him, I have heard it and heard it and heard it. And I've got to listen. We need to start taking a Sabbath. We need to start taking our day of rest that we used to do. And yes, I know that many people think of your Sabbath as Sunday and I love Sundays. I love being in the presence of God with the people of God. My husband and I pastor a church and I am involved in all different areas and I truly love it. However, Sunday is not a day of rest for my body. I get up early on Sunday mornings. I get to the church early. I do a lot of things. I typically will take a short little nap on Sunday, but then Sunday evening, I'm getting ready for the week. I don't personally feel that Sunday is a good day for me to say, this is the day I set aside for rest. If that's your day, absolutely, that's fantastic. But I know that I need to do something different. He looked at the calendar and he's like, okay, we're gonna take this day this week. And I was like, oh, hold on. Like, I haven't really planned for that. It was over the weekend, so I did have time to plan for it. And he said, are we doing this or not? We have to take it. There's never an ideal time. There's always things to do. And that is the truth. There's always things to do. So we've been doing this for about a month to six weeks. And we've had to move some things around for various reasons. But I have found that on the weeks that I truly take a day, that I say, this is a day that I'm taking to rest. I may get some certain things done, but I am not going to be, it's not going to be a regular work day. This is not happening. I'm setting aside this day. And I'll do a video later as I progress through this journey talking about some practical things and, and what that day really looks like for me and what it looks like for my family. Everyone's schedule is different, but I have found that when I set that time aside, I am so productive that week. I get the exact amount done, if not more than I would have on a week where I am just going nonstop from Sunday to Saturday. There was a time in my life where that Saturdays were that day that I would kind of do the things I wanted to do and sleep in a little bit. But for whatever reason, that is not the current state of my life. And so I've needed to take a weekday. Thankfully, my job is flexible. I do have to do a few different things during the day because I am responsible for emails and things like that. So while that part of my life may be different from yours, whatever you have to do and however you need to do it, even if it's a portion of a day, even if it's an evening or two different evenings, what time are you going to set aside for rest? Because I have found that if we don't do this, we're, we're getting sick. We are getting burnt out. We are not being the best that we can be. So this is just where I am thinking about rest. And I want to share this with you. I hope this is something that maybe sparks something in your mind, or likely it's something you've already been thinking about. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Please post the comments in this YouTube video. Or if you are watching this and you're reading my blog as well, comment there or you can comment on social media. I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about rest? I used to call my rest day my margin day, but then I realized that that really isn't true because my margin day is the day that in case I don't get the other things done, I'm setting aside this time to get those things done. And a day of rest is a day that I am concreting these walls around it and saying, nope, I'm protecting this. I'm not going to do these things. Even if I don't get something done on this day, I'm going to wait and do it another day. But I do believe that by setting aside rest, we are allowing margin in our lives for the good things. Like I said before, I'll be coming back with more as I progress through this journey, learning more about rest, learning more about a Sabbath. 
But if you've enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when the next video goes live.